Hello everyone. In this video, we have solved this interesting exponential equation. p to the power 6 a is equal to 3 to the power 6 p is equal to what? Look, here is exponent is same. So I can say here is p is equal to 3. This is our answer. But we'll find out the value of p all solution. So how to solve this question? This question is p to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 6. Yes. Now in this expression, look, here is p to the power 6. So it will be p to the power 3 and whole to the power 2 and it will be 3 to the power 6. Then here is p to the power 3 whole to the power 2 and I move on this expression in this side. It will be negative 3 to the power 6 is equal to 0. Then I can say here is p to the power 3 whole to the power 2 and 3 to the power 6. So I can say that 3 to the power 3 and whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Look, 2 times 3 it will be 6. Then we know that a square minus b square, it will be a plus b times a minus b. According to this law, I can say that this equation becomes p to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 and it will be p to the power 3 minus 3 to the power 3 is equal to 0 yes now this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 so i can say here is p to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 is equal to 0 and here is p to the power 3 minus 3 to the power 3 is equal to 0 so you know that a cube plus v cube it will be a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square and you know other slow e cube minus v cube it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus v square if i follow this rules i can say here is p to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 it will be p plus 3 times a square minus a b plus b square so it will be p square minus 3p plus 3 square because of that here is b square b it will be 3 so it will be 9 is equal to 0 and other case we'll find out here is p minus 3 times it will be p square plus 3p plus 9 is equal to 0 look here is p plus 3 is equal to 0 we'll find out here is 2 case p plus 3 is equal to 0 and other case p square minus 3p plus 9 is equal to 0 and in case case p minus 3 is equal to 0 and here is p square plus 3p plus 9 is equal to 0 now in this expression p is equal to minus 3 and here is p is equal to look in this expression i can say here is minus b plus minus square root v square minus 4 ac over 2a According to this law, I can say here is p is equal to minus minus 3, b is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root minus 3 whole square minus 4 ac, a is 1, c is 9 over 2a, yes. Now here is p is equal to 3 plus minus square root 9 minus 36 over 2. Look, 4 times 9, it will be 36 then this expression i can say here is p is equal to 3 plus minus square root minus 27 over 2 yes so here is p is equal to 3 plus minus square root 27 uh, it will be 9 times 3 yes so i can say here is 3 square root 3 i over 2 square root 27 it will be 3 square root 3 i yes so this is our final answer this is the value of p is equal to minus 3 and other p is equal to 3 plus minus 3 square root 3i over 2 and here is p is equal to 3 yes because of that if i move on this 3 in this side it will be 3 and here is p is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root v square so v is equal to 3 square minus 4 ac a is 1 c is 9 over 2a a is 1 and here is p is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 9 minus 36 over 2 then 
P is equal to minus 3 plus minus square root minus 27 over 2. Then according to uh, complex rows, I can say here is minus 3 plus minus a 3 square root 3 i over 2. So we'll find out our final answer p is equal to this. Here is 2 value and p is equal to 3. This is others value and p is equal to this. Here is 2 value and p is equal to minus 3. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.